Today we'll be tying the Crazy Charlie. First you'll be starting with a stainless steel hook and wrapping on your thread. At about an eye and a half length back from the eye, tie on some stainless steel chain eyes on top of the hook. Use figure eight wraps to tie in your bead chain eyes. Multiple wraps in one direction can work. And then you use a helicop helicopter technique to tie them in as well. For the next step, you'll tie on your overbody. And that will either be a glass body or you could use round vinyl rib. I'm using a clear color so that the holographic tinsel that I'm going to tie on next appears through the glass body. Next you take your holographic tinsel, you tie that in, bring your thread to the front of the eyes, then wrap your tinsel all the way back in nice close and turns. Then you would wind them forward to the eyes. Also make sure they are in nice close and turns as well. Once you get to the eyes, wrap it all the way to the back of the eyes until you can't anymore. Then make two wraps in either direction of the eyes so that you could have a holographic tinsel look in between the eyes as well. Then tie off your tinsel. Cut away with your waste material. Then a nice close and turns, bring up your glass body. The glass body over the tinsel rib helps ensure the strength of the tinsel below it. And as you can see, you still get the effect of the holographic tinsel underneath. As you did with your tinsel, two wraps in either direction around the eyes. Then tie it off. Cut away the waste material. I like to form somewhat of a head and then you flip your fly over. For this fly I'm going to use calf tail, which I already prepared for this fly. Have all the tips even. Have the tips about the bend of the hook or a little further. I'm going to trim it up so I could just tie it in, not have to trim it later. Nice solid wraps, you want to tie that in. Make a nice taper to the head. The next step you want to take some crystal flash and add that to the fur. It will be part of your wing. What I do is take two strands, I tie it in, then I double it back over. Make a nice head. Now for those believers that think that head cement will affect the bonefish from taking your crazy charlie because of the scent. Put in a number of whip finishes. As you can see here, I will create about three whip finishes. Try
turn back to Crystal Flash. And there you have it. Crazy Charlie. Tight lines and weight safe.